I don't need to remind you the UN is here, so you, the world is watching right now. Wow, well, literally, literally. Okay. Yeah. Um, you are, um, you got a lot of jobs, right? So you're gonna work no matter what. So you, I, I suppose so. Singer, yeah. songwriter, producer. Out of all of them, which one is your favorite? Um, you know, performer. I really love course, getting in front of people and seeing all the work and all the, you know, you put all of this into the sure. songs, really seeing it in, in real life, in real time, uh, performing will always be my, my favorite, I think. But, but you, and you, 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 you know, a couple of different genres. One is, of course, uh, R&B, and yes. the other is gospel. What's the difference between, like, do you just, like, put Jesus in more songs? Nah. Like, how do you, <laughs> yeah. You know, I, I actually consider myself a soul artist, you know, soul music, which um, I think that that foundation of church. Right. Um, you know, I don't necessarily, uh, uh, as an artist, do explicitly gospel songs. Do you know when a song's going to uh, be a gospel song as opposed to one that is more secular? You know, that's the thing. It comes from the same place for me. Um, talking about a love for, love for a person right. and a love for God right. comes from the same place for me. So uh, it's not until I start, spe you know, saying, you know, what I'm saying. Right. Uh, uh, you know, that's when I know what it is. But no, it doesn't start that way. Like something sounds gospel right. can easily be an R&B song for Cause me. Because, I, I, I mean, I don't go to church because the cover charge is too high. <laughs> but... Oh, man. <laughs> Yo, you need Jesus. I, mean, I, I, I do. I do. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but they got it. No, I got that from you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I stopped going to church when church came on TV on Sunday. I'm like, I can stay right here in the oh, game. Man. But I, I, but I think it's important because I think that one of the things that happens with music, whether it's, uh, you know, uh, secular or gospel, is that it inspires you. Like, if it's supposed to be great music and makes you want to dance, yeah. that's that's a, a classification. But if it makes you want to praise the Lord, then that's a different thing. Beautiful thing. Um, and But they all come from this wellspring. Like, you, like you have this wellspring that you... that is that based on experiences or do you just... Yeah. Kind of... For me, I, you know, I like the, the songs to be a reflection of life, you know, and... My life entails all of that. It sure. entails love. It entails uh, the weather being nice. Right, you know, right, it entails right. um, my faith. Right. Uh, so I talk about all those things and pull from them as as I see fit. Or really, I, I say the music tells me what to say. You know. So, so you I, already know what the music is. Yeah. Saying. Once the once I start with the music and start to hear the melody, then it starts kind of tell me what what it's saying. You uh -huh. know. And I, I'm just a vessel at that point. You know, trying to say what I feel in here. Do, you, 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 were, you talked about how you were inspired during the uh, quarantine, like doing yeah. that. That was a really rough time for a lot of people, like yeah, spending that much time with your family. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. You know, because they're strangers. They're like, I don't even know you. <laughs> um, spending much, that much time away from everything, yeah. being with your family, off the stage, not being able to go to a studio. Some yeah. people didn't have... For, for some people, there wasn't a creative t track to take, but you, right. you found it to be. No, nah, I feel I feel like it's a cheat code. Like sometimes I feel guilty for having that uh, ability to release like that. Right. I mean, I was able to go inward um, in, in such a tough time. But then I think the flip side of that is um, I'm able to speak for a lot of people mm -hmm. who are going through that and be a voice for them, mm -hmm. you know, and that's what I feel like my job is. So I do have an advantage in right. having that release. Right. But then I share that advantage with the world, you know. I, I, I write jokes, I write books. But the one thing about songwriters, being a songwriter is like describing a sound. Yeah. And it's, it's something, I, like, I can't even understand where it comes from. But um, when you think of all the songs you've written, mm -hmm. like, and the places you were in all those songs, um, what is the most inspirational one? What did you know? Like, the song was already ready. You knew where everything went. Like, you knew yeah. that this was going to be, go to this thing and be in this place. Yeah, I mean, well, I mean, currently, I'm up for a... For, uh, R&B song of the year at the Grammys. Congratulations. Thank, Thank you. you. Congratulations. And um, I will say, you know, it was the first song that I wrote on this specific album, and it kind of wrote itself. It was one of those where it's like, it's going so fast, fall, this can't be me. Yeah, this can't yeah. just be me. Right. You know, it was a rhythm. So Please Don't Walk Away is the name of that song. And um, it's a special one. Just, I knew why, it why, immediately. Why? why is it special? Yeah, I knew it before it had, before it had lyrics, it, start, it was mm -hmm. speaking. Like, we knew in the studio that it was special. Then the first thing I said, it was like, chills, right. you know? So it was one of those that just was moving on its own. And um, I'm always super grateful, you know, when Would that Would you happens. say that's your favorite song you've ever done? 
Favorite ever? I mean, right now, favorite ever is the one I, I'm doing here. Be like water, right? Because uh, Bruce Lee I, said that. Wait a minute, yeah. did he say that? <laughs> <laughs> he did. It, it's inspired by that, and really inspired by that overall concept. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, but Stevie Wonder is my hero, and he's right. on that song. You can, with him. Yeah, a lot. Of yeah. And that that would have been enough. But then Nas is also on that yeah. song with Stevie, so right now that's my that's my favorite song. Is, wait, wait, you got Nas, Stevie, and Jesus. You can't lose, baby. <laughs> yeah, man, it's a dream team. It's a dream team. Watch, for sure. uh, Watch yeah. the Sun is available now.